Tonight I leave familiar for the great unknown Got a couple broken arrows and my hair has grown Since you saw me last Talking on an old flip phone Today I shed the skin of who I used to be Got Sinatra on a 45, I'm buzzing like a bee Just hoping you'll come fly with me What do you think so far? What do I think about what? How many days, what day is this? 13. 13 days on the road. Uh, 13. What's it been like? A lot of highs, a lot of lows. <laughs> we haven't killed each other yet, that's a good thing. Came close a couple of times. We've had a couple of stressful moments, no. but not whole days, have we? No. Mm. Close? Maybe one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but the last couple of days, yep. traveling through northern Ontario on Route 17 West, it's incredible. I, you know, we have a beautiful country as an East Coast, as a New Brunswicker, the oceans, the rivers, we really don't have mountains. Um, and, and, you know, I've traveled myself, I've been out west a little bit, Calgary and Banff, and, but never driven across the country. And this is part of the experience that we wanted to have. And... Uh, now, a couple things. I'm not sure if we'll ever get out of Ontario. How many days? How many days have we been in Ontario? <laughs> I have no I don't idea. Know. Like I barely know what day it is. I mean, we're traveling in our rig, and 
we're not doing you know eight nine ten hour drives like you would do probably in a car we're doing four or five hour drives but i think that's something we learned as well right because yeah. we were kind of barreling through going too late in the afternoon being yeah. tired being grouchy not seeing the sights and when we started really planning our trip for the next day knowing that we're not going to go more than five hours yeah. stopping at the things that we want to see things got a lot better and a lot yeah, easier. so like today we left um where do we where do we stay last night marathon marathon mm-hmm. ontario and we're just going to thunder home bay home of the bear home of the yeah, <laughs> bear bear signs we'll <laughs> share more with you about that but we're only going to thunder bay today which is about three and a half hour maybe four hour drive we stopped a couple of times so that's really a nice day you go you're not rushed we're going to get there around 1 2 o'clock and we're going to be able to relax set the wig up go explore thunder bay a little bit you know take Gus for a walk and you know that's why that's the way that you should be traveling and enjoying yourself when you're doing eight nine ten hour at a time I mean you're not enjoying yourself you can't you don't have any time to stop for anything so and I think you get too tired yeah right and it gets it can be dangerous and you forget things and you know I think it's important to to stop and smell the roses absolutely so Lake Superior has been incredible I mean the the views it's often um you know we say this like the camera can't quite picture grab or capture is the word i'm looking for um how beautiful you know what it is we're actually seeing and that's true you have to see it you have to put the camera down once in a while and just take it all in lake superior has been absolutely incredible beautiful it looks like an ocean as an east coaster and, and it has beach glass and it has beach glass uh, I've even better keep patty remembering patty that. found beach glass at old woman bay it was called uh, yeah. only patty can find beach glass uh like that but anyway it's been incredible we're going to continue to share with you the highs the lows and not how to put the jacks up and how to hook the trailer up and to do all that stuff but maybe a bit more about you know what are we learning and what are we learning about ourselves and you know for me i i've dubbed the the trip chasing dreams um i think a lot about purpose you know at that you know what we hope is the mid part of our lives what do we want this next phase of our life to look like so anyway we're going to continue to share with you and and hopefully you'll make comments yourself and what are you uh, connecting to in our story and how are you chasing your own dreams because I think that's important as well. COVID has taught us that uh, life is very fragile and um, and there's many other examples of how, how fragile life is and that's what we're out here trying to do. I'm finding it hard to pay attention because the vastness yeah. of the environment around us, even the scale of these rocks yeah. across the street is just magnificent and i've tried to take several pictures and it doesn't, it doesn't do, do it, it well we'll turn the camera so. around and we'll say uh, see you later for now take care Maybe I won't make it, but if it's up to me, I think I can do it. Terry Fox was an 18-year-old from British Columbia when he was diagnosed with bone cancer in his right knee. Amputation and chemotherapy left him with an artificial leg and memories of those still in the cancer ward. Kids my age and younger, and and you just can't leave something like that and and forget it, and and, uh, I couldn't anyway. I had to try and do something about it. And so he did. Terry trained on his new leg for 14 months, then told his family that he would run east to west across Canada, hoping to raise $1 million for cancer research. On April 12, 1980, at the easternmost point of Canada, it began the Marathon of Hope. And Terry would do it by running 26 miles, a marathon every single day. With his best friend Doug Allward and brother Daryl following in a support van, 21-year-old Terry would rise at 4 a.m. to run 12 miles, 
short rest, then do 14 miles in the afternoon, seeking donations across lonely expanses of highway. In Toronto, thousands cheered him. For Canadians, Terry had become an inspirational hero. But what inspired Terry were the children he was trying so hard to help. Children like Greg Scott. I'm crying now because I, there's somebody here right now who is going through the same thing that I went through. The exact same thing, and he's only 10 years old. And I, I had the most inspirational uh, day of my life today. And so Terry gave himself an afternoon off from the Marathon of Hope to swim with Greg. It was just the fourth day off in 137 days on the road. As he approached the city of Thunder Bay on September 1st, Terry Fox had run 3,339 miles. He was on this stretch of road at this white marker when he asked to be taken to the hospital. From a stretcher, Terry shared the news of his diagnosis. My cancer had spread, and now I've got cancer in my lungs. And uh, we got to go home. And, tr and try and do some more treatment. But, uh, all I can say is uh, if there's any way I can get out there again and finish it, I will. Lunchtime. What are we having, Patty? We are having chicken and potatoes and salad. Nice. And we've got our deck out on the side of a hill with a Here. beautiful view. Here we are, some chicken and garlic. We're going to use the microwave to cook some potatoes. And then I'll show you the view out of the side here. We've opened up one little slide. We're in a rest area here on the side of the highway. And there is our view when we pop the deck down and I'm going to get the tables out for that. Pretty awesome.
Thanks uh, for tuning in to the Ontario segment of our trip. It seems so funny. Um, so I'm actually talking to you at the end of this video in um, February, uh, and we are in Yuma, Arizona. And uh, so it takes a long time to assemble this. I have so much mad respect for the folks that are producing these videos on a weekly basis. I'm still learning the software. It's a tremendous amount of work, but uh, really happy to share with you. Uh, we were in Ontario, I think over... Uh, about 14 days from the time we entered Ontario to the time we uh, got through to the other end. 2,297 kilometers uh, over nine different stops. I hope you enjoyed uh, the footage that we've shared with you. It was absolutely beautiful. It, I would put it on your must-do list um, and, and do it in a way that you can take some time to, you know, stop when you see something beautiful, stop at the waterfalls, stop at the beautiful beaches, and uh, just soak in everything that Northern Ontario has to offer. So uh, thanks for tuning in with us today. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we had a lot of fun um, uh, taking the videos and taking lots of pictures and sharing those with you. And uh, now I'll be able to move on to uh, the Alberta segment. So hope everybody is well. Stay safe, uh, stay kind. And again, thanks for tuning in.